Hi, I'm Dr. Gopi, an international cardiologist at Fortis Hospital, Cunningham Road. Uh, 29th September is celebrated as the World Heart Day. Now, you would want, you would ask, why have a World Heart Day? Heart and its associated illness, which we call as cardiovascular disease, is the major killer in the world. Almost 17 million deaths occur every year due to cardiovascular illness. Cancer coming a distant second with about 8 million. So with this we can understand what is the impact of cardiovascular illness on the you know, public. Now one thing that is good about cardiovascular disease is that it is hugely preventable. You know? And because it is a lifestyle illness, change in our lifestyle can have a significant impact on the outcomes in terms of prevalence and incidence of cardiovascular disease. Now, if you look at what is happening in the developed world, we find that actually, though the numbers are huge, but actually the incidence of cardiovascular disease is coming down. But unfortunately, in our region of the world, that is the South countries, there is an increase in the deaths and the prevalence and incidence of cardiovascular diseases. So we need to, you know, get our act together and take as much preventive steps as possible to try to, uh, you know, contain this. So how do we do it? I think public education is the most important. So the World Heart Federation has been, you know, has taken up this challenge of trying to impart knowledge to the public. And over every year they've been having different, different messages to try and, you know, give, uh, tell us how important it is and how we need to take action regarding the preventive measures. So this year they have given, a, you know, a logo and theme as share the power. What do they mean by that? that each individual who understands what are the you know, factors that are required to prevent heart disease should make it his bound duty to you know, inspire another individual or people in his family. Thus, the message what we tell to one person gets you know, transmitted or gets you know, imbibed by many people and that would be the, the surest way of how we can spread this message fast. So what, is, what do we mean by Shaya Dapa? What are the, the you know, components of it? It would mean eat right, do right exercises and also you know avoid your bad habits so eat right i think we all i mean for for years together we have been telling you know eat and eat less of uh, you know less of fat less of carbs more of more of protein that's been the mantra as such but of late newer research has has shown that we need to you know, really concentrate largely on trying to reduce the carbs and especially direct sugars you know it is it is being more and more you know understood that probably direct sugars are probably the major you know detrimental factors or major implication major factors which implicate or which bring out cardiovascular disease in in in, in people even compared to fat so probably the in future in time to come the advice regarding diet may have a slight change you know, we were always telling stick to about 20 percent of en your you know, energy coming from fats Probably in time, in a, maybe in a, in a couple of years, we might get advice saying to up to, to up to 30 percent may be all right. So probably fat is not as bad as what we thought, though that doesn't give us the you know liberty to sort of binge on how much of a fatty food, fried things, everything. We still need to keep it under control, but a lot of you know stress is going to be on direct sugars, all those you know processed foods, your your you know chocolates, sweets, all these things are going to you know need to be curtailed for us to improve our cardiovascular health. Then exercises, I think always been uh, you know, a major uh, factor in trying to control the cholesterol levels, control your body weight, control blood pressure, control of diabetes, and then bad habits, especially the use of tobacco is one of the major you know, uh, factors that are responsible for cardiovascular illnesses. So I think no tobacco in, in any form, you should ban tobacco in, in, in all forms. So I think if we understand this and take it upon ourselves, to educate somebody close to you, your loved ones, your dear ones, your friends, I think that will have a major impact in us being, collectively being able to bring down the cardiovascular burden in our side of the world. Thank you.